Father, I bless you. I lift up the name of the Lord. With my life, I worship God. This very afternoon, with my soul and my spirit, do I worship God. This afternoon, I worship God with all that is in me. I worship God with all my riches, with all my wealth, with all my wisdom and understanding. With my health, do I worship God this afternoon. I worship God with all I have, with all I am, with all I got. I worship God this very afternoon. Wherever we may be this very afternoon, wherever you may be, just lift up your hands and worship God with all you have. Say, Lord, I worship you with all I have. I worship you with all I have. I worship you with all I have. With my wisdom, do I worship you. With my knowledge and my understanding, do I worship you. With my education, do I worship you, Lord. With my wealth, do I worship you. With my strength, do I worship the Lord. With all God has given to me, the Bible says, Oh, my soul, bless the Lord and all that is in me. With all I have this afternoon, I worship God. I worship God with my life. With my life, I have come to God, the maker of heaven and earth. I have come to my Father, the only wise God, the only good God. God is good, not just good. God is very, 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 very good. Father, we bless you. Excellent God, faithful God, merciful, kind, loving, compassionate God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. You are our Father. We are the works of, the, of your hands, Father. We are the works of the hands of God. We bless you. We, the work of your hands, have come to you. We, the works of your hands, we have come to you, Father. We have come with praises. We have come with worship. We have also come with our petition. We have come with our request. Father, we've come to you. The Bible says nobody who comes to God shall by enemies be cast away. Nobody who comes to God, Peter said, that shall by enemies be cast away. Lord, we come to you, Father, and we know that we will not be cast off. We shall not be cast away because you are a faithful God. Because of you love us. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord, my brothers. And my sisters, just worship God. Everyone in the house, everyone online this very afternoon. Bless God. He is a good God. Bless God. He is a good God. Great is our King. Great is our God. Great is the one who is, who was, and who is to come again. Great is God who dwells in Zion. Our Father, we magnify you. Be highly exalted today, Lord. Unto you we have we come with our praise. Have we come with our prayers? Have we come with our worship? Unto God, unto God who lives forever. Unto the eternal king, the only wise God. Blessed be God forever. And Jesus Christ's holy name we did pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God who lives forever. Amen. It's good to be here once again. It's good to be here once again on another launch hour prayer service. And I want to assure you that today, God is out to make you experience all his goodness. Hallelujah. Amen. To give you experience in a dimension that you have never seen before. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I don't know what you are battling with in your life. I don't know what, you're, what is going on, but I want you to come to God correct this very afternoon. Amen. Amen. Come 100%. Leave everything behind. Understand? Forget about it. Forget about that situation. Forget about it and come to God. Come focused, knowing that God is able to do all things. There's nothing God cannot do. Somebody said, what God cannot do does not exist. And that is true. So just come with this knowledge. Come with this understanding that there is nothing that is impossible before our God. Hallelujah. Amen. Why am I saying this? I don't want you to limit God. Understand? I don't want you to limit God in any way. Don't limit God with your thinking. Don't limit God with your experience. Don't limit God with your knowledge. Don't say, oh, this was how they said it last time. No. 
come with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And I tell you today, God will be taking you on a journey that you have never been before. God will be revealing things to you that you have never known before. God will be showing you things that you have never seen before. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I welcome you especially in the name of Jesus. To all my brothers, all our audience, all at the lunch hour brothers and sisters, all, the, all our audience online, I want to say God bless you for joining us this very afternoon once again to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. On behalf of the senior pastor of this commission, I welcome you all and to everybody in the house. Quickly, we are going to start praying right now. We're going to start praying. Can we please look at the book of Genesis? Look at the book of Genesis. Now, quickly, before we, before we start, I want to ask you to, I want to, ask you to do me, if, I mean, to just do, do three things for me. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to ask you to do three things for me. Actually, you are not doing it for me. You are doing it for the Lord. I want you to like, hallelujah, this service. Like, comment, and do what? And share, hallelujah. Amen. Make sure that somebody is being blessed through you. Amen. Amen. Please, like, make a comment, and share. Understand? If you are being blessed by what God is doing here. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's look at the book of Genesis 24. Genesis 24, verse 12 and 15. 12 to 15. Genesis 24, verse 12. And I read. In Genesis 24. And, and he said, O Lord, God of my master, O Lord, God of my master, I pray thee, send me good speed this day and show kindness. God is going to show somebody kindness today. Amen. God is going to show somebody kindness today. Amen. If you are that one, say amen. Amen. Say loud amen. Amen. And show kindness unto my master, Abraham. Verse 13. Say, behold, I stand here by the well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. 14. Let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say, let down thy pitcher, and I pray thee that I may drink, and she shall say, drink, I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she that thou hast appointed for, my, for, for thy servant Isaac, and uh, thereby shall I know that thou hast showed kindness unto my master. Verse 15. This is the last verse. And it came to pass, before he had done speaking, that, behold, Rebekah came out, who was born to Bethuel, son of Micah, and wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with his pitcher, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we're going to be asking God the same. We're going to be making a request. We're going to be asking God for the same thing that this servant of Abraham asked God. And what did he asked God? He asked God for good speed. Amen. Good speed. Instantaneous miracle. Good speed. Instantly. And God showed up instantly. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know how long you've been asking God for that thing. But ask God one more time today. Say, Father, Father give me good speed. Give me good speed. Give me good speed today. 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 Give me quick answers today. Give me quick answers today. To my prayers. To my prayers. Send me help. Send me help. Speedily. Speedily. Today. Today, in the name of our Lord Jesus in Christ, the name of Jesus. lift up your voice and begin to ask God. Father, Say, Father, today is another day. Oh, Lord, Lord today, oh, give me good speed. Give me good speed, Father. Give me good speed like you gave to this servant of Abraham. The Bible says, while he was yet speaking, 
while he was yet speaking in fact he has not stopped he has not ended that prayer when rebecca showed up when rebecca showed up god answered him immediately lord give me an answer a quick answer today an immediate answer father to that demand to that request to that prayer request to that situation lord give me a quick answer to that situation father give me a quick answer today give me a quick answer today give me good speed today father as i pray as i pray let it be before i finish praying today let this desire be answered let this expectation be granted in the name of our lord jesus christ father grant me this expectation lord grant me this desire today in the name of jesus christ let it be that while i am yet praying that my phone will ring that that man will call me that woman will call me that business we go through that contract we scale through in the name of jesus that proposal we scale through lord i pray in the name of our lord jesus christ let it come quickly in the name of our lord jesus lord give me the same speed you gave to the servant of abraham give me the same speed the bible said that we are the sons of abraham and the same blessing of god that was upon abraham is now upon us father i pray in the name of jesus christ my lord i pray in the name of jesus christ that you will answer me speedily today concerning that situation concerning that situation concerning that desire that expectation of my brother that expectation of my sister let it be granted father speedily this afternoon because with god all things are possible because with God, there is nothing that is impossible. Because with God, all things are possible. Because the Bible has said that faith is now. God lives in the now, not tomorrow. God is not a God of tomorrow. He's not a God of the future. God is a God of now, not a God of tomorrow. Not a God of the future. Not a God of, of years to come. It is a God of now. Bible says faith is now. And God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him now. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you grant us our petition just the way you granted the petition of the servant of abraham the scripture said while he was yet speaking rebecca came he was asking god for rebecca and here comes rebecca father we pray give us such instant miracle give us such speed today such speed in the name of our lord jesus christ oh father cast the leader in the heart of Leah. let it become our testimony Oh Lord, today give us this same prayer. testimony Let father give us this Let same instant prayer. miracle instant testimony in the, in the name of a living jesus christ let it be that while we are yet in this prayer in this prayer service that my phone will ring that that man will call me in the name of jesus christ that my phone will ring in the name of our lord jesus christ that your request will be granted your expectation granted in the name of jesus while we are yet praying hey father kaza linda libara lazo zita and the cars of zita lada let the zita lida liata and the car the lidara lato balita kazaha God is a God of now. God is a God of now, not tomorrow, not in the future. Now, Lazarus Italiata. For faith is now. Bible says now faith is in the leader Liata. Cause Zita Lado Libara. Lazi Ziata Lidalia. Lato Kaze Kada. And the Hado Hatish Para. Reke Kinde Kaze Zita Liata. Raka Kado Katish Para. Rehid. The heart of Lizo Lima, as a little ladder libara, ratic and the case, and the leader, leader Lia, Lada Sutelia, Reke Kete Kese. Father, thank you, Father. Thank you very much for so shall it be to my brother who is listening to me right now under the sound of my voice amen. to that my brother your expectations are granted now in the name of our lord jesus christ amen. your testimonies are now in the name of our lord jesus christ amen. so shall it be to that my sister who is under the sound of my voice your expectations are now in the name of jesus amen. they shall not be procrastinated in the name of jesus amen. there shall be no procrastination in the name of jesus amen. you will receive answer today speedily in the name of the lord jesus Amen. christ Amen. so shall it be father we thank you father 
For in Jesus Christ's holy name, we did pray. Amen. Somebody is about to receive an instant miracle today. Amen. And it, concerning that situation, God will give you answer speedily Amen. in the name of the Lord. Amen. Look out for it. Look out for it. If you are sick in the body, before the end of the prayer, check your body. Check your phone. Check your, you know, just go ahead. Whatever expectation you have, look out for it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I am very sure. I am very sure. You are about to get a miracle in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Okay. Prayer number two. Prayer number two. We are looking at the same Genesis 24 verse 60. There's a prayer that they prayed for Rebecca. I want you to pray for yourself today in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's a powerful prayer that the family of Rebecca prayed for her. The mother and the father of Rebecca. They made a prayer for her. And that prayer today, we can see it in the life of the Israelites, the descendants of Abraham, is, a, is, a, is working in their life now. Hallelujah. Amen. And what is the prayer? And it said, in verse 60, and they said to, to, to Rebecca, and they blessed Rebecca. Hallelujah. They blessed Rebecca and said unto her, Thou art our sister, be thou mother of thousands of millions. <laughs> Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Be thou what? He said, be thou, be thou the mother of thousands of millions. Somebody say amen. Amen. Somebody claim it in the name of Jesus. Amen. And let this, thy seed possess the gates of those which hate them. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody is about to possess the gate of his enemies. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody is about to possess the gate of his enemies. Amen. Say, Father. Father, today, today, I take possession. I take possession of the gates of my enemies. Of the gates of my enemies. I take possession. I take possession of the gates of my enemies. Of the gates of my enemies. Of the gates of those that hate me. Of the gates of those that hate me. I take possession of their gates. I take possession of their gates. I take possession. Possession of their gates. I take possession of their gates. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Go Jesus. ahead and pray right now. Father, Say, Father, I take possession of the gates of those who of hate me in the name of, of Jesus. Those who hate me, I take possession of their gates. I take possession of their gates in the name of Jesus. I take possession by the blessing of God upon my life. By the blessing of God upon your life. By the blessing of God upon your life. By the blessing of God upon your life, take possession of the gates of your enemies. Take possession of the gates of them that hate you. In the city of Abuja, in your village, in your community, in your neighborhood, wherever you are, God has made you the head in that place. God has made you the head in that place. God has made you the gatekeeper. He has made you the gatekeeper in that place. God has given you the key of the gates. The key of the gates of your enemy. When you open the door, when you allow them in, they are in. When you shut them out, they are out. That's what it means to possess the gates of your enemy. You will be the one in control and in command of what happens. Of what happens. Lord, I take possession of the gates of my enemies. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I take possession of the gates of those who hate me. I take possession of the gates of those who hate the body of Christ. We take possession, Father, of their gates in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We decide what happens. We decide what happens. Father, we take, we take possession. We take possession of the gates of our enemies in the name of our Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, lead Alada, Kaza, Kadish, Baliza, and the heart of Sute, Lida, Libra, Handalia, and Zalite, Kadalia, the body of Jesus take possession of the gates of our enemies in Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. We take possession of the gates of our enemies in the city where we are. We take possession of the gates of our enemies in our offices, in our business places. We take possession of the gates of our enemies in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are in control of the situations there. We are in control of the situations there. We are in control of the situations there. When we open the door, the door is open. When we shut the door, the door is shut. And the soul, Lada, Balite Kada, and the Sutta Libra, and the Hadaliata. It means that you have power to call the shots. You have power to decide what happened in the place of work. You have the power to decide what happened in that organization. What you say is what stands. That's what it means to possess the gates of your enemies. Balazo, Nande Sutra, Hadasutta Lazo, Let the Kate Kaza. 
Recall, les alita libara, nende hand suta, ita kazi, la delizelia kaza, leto enda leto, rata rata barata, le kakata kaza, etara nande lise, is the ziba. I possess the gates of my neighborhood. In the name of Jesus, I decide what happened in my compound. Hey, Father, you have made me the head and have made me the gatekeeper. As a lata, lead the libra, then the sutra, then the swaha, in the heart, a lidara, recall, kazita, lead a libaha, then the sutra, then the lia, as it a liata, eto baraka, kinde kazaha, la sutra, litra, katekete, as a liata, ratuliase, in the brata, tatalata lima, isoka, eta katakata, balizo, solita, etara, la sutra, then the handle. I take possession of the gates of my enemy, of the gates of Abuja. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take possession of the city where I live. I decide what happens and what does not happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call the shot. I make a decree and it shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus, Balit Kandaliha, Ezolita Libaha, Rekuta Kata, in the Suta Libraha. And the kute lete kete, and the kute lita lada. Then the handle yata. Lord, this become my experience from today, because you have blessed me and have made me the gatekeeper of the city where I live. Wherever you live now in the world, you can take possession of the gate of that city, because God has made you the head there. You are only above there. You can never be beneath. So take possession in the name of Jesus. Whatever you decide, what. Whatever you declare is what will happen in that city, in that family, in that nation, in that community. Father, we bless you. And the cause is Italia. Father, we thank you for the blessing. Just like Rebecca, Father, thank you, Father. We are the children of Abraham, and we have taken authority and possession. We have taken possession of the gates of our enemies. Thank you, Holy Father. And we as mothers and fathers of thousands of millions in the name of Jesus Christ. For anyone who's expecting, who's looking forward to having his own children. Hallelujah. This is a very good prayer. It's a very good prayer. I mean, a very good scripture. Hallelujah. You can stand on this scripture and lay hold to the blessing. The Bible said to God, said to Rebecca, I make you mother of millions of thousands. And what he said to one, he said to all. Hallelujah. Because we are all children of Abraham. The blessing of Abraham is upon you, my sister. The blessing of Abraham is upon you, my brother. Possess the gates of your enemies from today. From today, your enemies will not decide what happened to you. Somebody who is listening to me say amen. Your enemies will not decide what happened to your life. They will not call the shots in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? Because you are the head. And God has given you power over them. So you are the gatekeeper, not your enemy. In your office, the enemy will not say what happens. You will say what happened in your office, in your business place. God has put you above them. So go ahead and act like a gatekeeper. Say, Lord. I take possession in this place. I take authority in this place. I take charge. That's what it means to take charge. I take control of this very atmosphere in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will see things working for you. You will see things happening, 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 happening in a rapid succession. You will see things happening in a rapid succession. Father, we bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. For this is the will of God for us. Somebody who believes it, say amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So let us move further. Let's continue to go. Hallelujah. Amen. We look at the book of Numbers 23. Numbers 23, 8. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Somebody has taken possession of the gates of his enemies. Amen. Somebody has taken charge this afternoon. Amen. We bless you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus. The things you experienced yesterday, you will not experience again today. Amen. You experience those things because of your ignorance. But today, light has come. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you know that you are the gatekeeper. 
Balazo, Candelidara, Eta Casa, Lado Lisa Lepara. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Say, I am a gatekeeper. I am a gatekeeper. Say, I am the gatekeeper. I am the gatekeeper. I am the gatekeeper of my of my neighborhood. I am the gatekeeper of my neighborhood. I am the gatekeeper of my city. I am a gatekeeper of my city. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. Numbers 23, verse 8. And I read. Numbers 23, from verse 8. And he said, Balaam was speaking to Balak. And he said, How shall I cause whom God has not caused? Or how shall I defy whom the Lord has not defied? Amen. You know, sometimes when things are going rough for you, you begin to think that somebody has put you under a curse. You, think, you begin to think that maybe somebody is doing something somewhere eh? and, it's, and, it's, and it's taking effect. It's happening in your life. Hallelujah. Something is happening. Somebody is doing something that is happening to your business or to your finance or to your marriage. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us see what Balak said in regards to this. He said, look at what Balak said to Balaam. When Balaam called him to put a curse on Israel, Remember, Israel, we are blessed, just like you are blessed today. Amen. Amen. And he said, how, Balaam was saying to him, he said, how can I curse whom God has not caused? Nobody can curse you because, you know, blessing and curse is like, is like water and oil. They can never mix. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you are blessed, nobody can put a curse on you. And if you are cursed, nobody can put a blessing on you. The two cannot coexist. Eh? You can't say I'm a Christian and I'm under a curse. It's not possible. Hallelujah. Amen. People come under a curse out of ignorance when they don't know. Out of ignorance when you don't know the difference between a blessed man and a cursed man, you come under a curse. You begin to think that somebody is doing something, manipulating your life from the village. As you begin to think about it, you know, the Bible says, without your mind, will I do nothing? As you begin to think about it and begin to believe it, then it begins to happen in your life. It begins to happen. Those things you are thinking about become your reality. Amen. So you have to discard those nonsense thoughts. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, how can I curse a man whom God has not cursed? Or how shall I defile whom God has not defied? Amen. Amen. Let's jump to verse 20. And in verse 20, he said the same thing again to him. He said, behold, I have received command to bless. And he has, not, and he has blessed. I cannot reverse. Hallelujah. God has blessed. No man can reverse. You know, sometimes you see some people going forward. And after some time, they begin to go backward. That is not God. It's from the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. That is not God. It's the devil. So we are going to pray and come against the spirit of, you know, going backward, of retrogression. Hallelujah. Say, say, Father. Father. Say, God has blessed me. God has blessed me. Say, God has blessed me. God has blessed me. Today. Today. Nobody can put a curse on me. Nobody can put a curse on me. Say, I have been sanctified. I have been sanctified. Therefore, nobody can defile me. Therefore, nobody can defy me. I've been sanctified. I've been sanctified. Therefore, nobody can defile me. Therefore, nobody can defy me. Go ahead, lift up your voice Amen. to God. Say, Father, Jesus. I've been blessed. I nobody can blessed. curse me. I, I am a blessed child cross. of God. Declare that. Declare. Declare your. Blessed. Declare. Declare I your blessing before be the Lord. Cross. Say, Lord, I am blessed. I have you have blessed me. Nobody no can curse me. Can that was exactly me. exactly the same thing I Balaam was blessed. saying to Balak. He said, God I has blessed these people. You can't curse them. I Father, nobody can curse me. I've been blessed. Nobody can curse me. God has sanctified me. Nobody can defile me in the name of Jesus because I receive righteousness. It is not by my works. I did not work out my righteousness. It is a gift. It is a gift gift God gave to you. God has given you righteousness. Nobody can defile you. Nobody can defile you. No matter what the devil do, you will always be righteous before God. You will always be righteous before God. I am the righteousness of God. Nobody can defile me. I've been blessed by God. Nobody, nobody can curse me. Nobody can put me under a curse. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, no spell, no enchantment, no divination against me shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Declare it with your mouth. Agree with the word of God. Agree with the word of God in your mind that no man can curse you. No man, no man, no enchantment, no divination, no spell can come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Nobody can put you under a curse. I've been blessed. I've been blessed. No one can Cursed me in the name of Jesus. I have been sanctified by the blood of Jesus. I am the righteousness of God. No man is permitted to put me under a curse. No man is permitted to 
have defiled me in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey, Father, Lado Lizo, Cardo Lizo, let a cat a cat a cat a swatter, and the Libra Handelia, Lassa City, Linda Libaha, Laka, Cardo Sutra, and the Sutra Handelia, Balizo Zelia, Reco Caza, Cate, Isaha, Eta Kenda Caz, Lida Libaha, Raza Sutra, Candalada, Lezo, Hada Hadish, is a city Litalia. Nobody can put me under a curse in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter where it's coming from. It doesn't matter where the weapon is formed. Whether it's formed in the village or it's formed in the city, it shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No cause channeled against me shall prosper in the name of Jesus. No cause put upon me shall prosper in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter where the cause is coming from. It doesn't matter where it is being prepared. And the sutra, handle the Bahara. Let the sutra lead I've been blessed and nobody can curse me. I've been sanctified. Nobody can divide me. In the name of Jesus Christ, nobody can defile me. No enchantment, no divination, no spell. In the name of Jesus, that can work against me. Hey, that can work against my business. That can work against my finance. That can work against my money. That can work against my promotion. That can work against my increase. That can work against my children. That can work against my marriage. Yes, Father, no enchantment can work against me. I decree and I declare. I stand upon the word of God. Hey, Father. And the This is my reality. This is who I am in Christ Jesus. This is my testimony. All the days of my life in the name of Jesus. No man, no man, no man, but of a woman. They can put me under a curse. No enchantment, no divination, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, formed against my income, formed against my increase, formed against my against my investments, formed against my children, formed against my family, formed against my marriage, formed against my relationship, formed against my ministry, that shall prosper in the name of Jesus. I am not a child. Hey, Father. Lazo Zita Lidara. Kaza. In the heart. He said, God has blessed. God has sanctified me. Nobody is permitted to defy me. I cannot be defied. And God has commanded. And no man can reverse. Go ahead and declare right now. Say, God has commanded his blessing upon me. It cannot be reversed. It cannot be reversed. It cannot be reversed. Say, I'm going forward. I cannot be reversed. My vehicle is moving forward. Forward. He's moving forward. It cannot be reversed. The vehicle of peace, the vehicle of prosperity, the vehicle of increase is going further and further. I am only going forward. I cannot go backward. I am not permitted to go backward in the name of Jesus. I am not permitted to retrogress in the name of Jesus. The Bible said the path of the just is as a shining light. It goes further and further. It goes brighter and brighter onto a perfect day. It goes brighter and brighter like the morning sun and the Kazaliba, like the Sutta Lida, let the Kate Kaza, eat the Kaza Kadaha, Rehita Hadoliata, and the Zita Lida, and the Kazaliata. God has commanded no man can reverse this journey in the name of Jesus, no man can reverse this blessing in the name of Jesus, no man can reverse what God has done for me. It is permanent in the name of Jesus. My mother marriage is permanent in the name of Jesus. My increase is permanent. My health is permanent. My healing is permanent in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey, Father. I am going forward and forward. I can never come backward. In the name of Jesus, God has commanded his blessing. No man can reverse. No man is permitted to reverse. Even me, myself, it is too late. If I want to reverse, it is too late already. In the name of Jesus, my brothers and my sisters, can I announce to 
to you, it is too late for you to reverse. Even though if you want to reverse, it is too late now because God has not permitted it. God has not permitted the reverse. He has not permitted the revision. In the name of our Lord Jesus, as the sitting leader, and the sitting leader, and the leader, recognize the case, and the leader, in the heart of the leader, and the leader, and the sitting leader. Father, I bless you in the name of Jesus. My marriage is blessed. It cannot be reversed in the name of Jesus. My children are blessed. They cannot be reversed in the name of Jesus. There is no going backward from where I'm coming from. I am going further and further in the name of Jesus Christ. In the Kazali Dara. This is the word of God for us. This is the will of God. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is somebody's testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. God has commanded it. Nobody can reverse it. Amen. It is settled. Hallelujah. God has blessed. Nobody can curse. God has sanctified. Nobody can defy. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever God has not permitted shall not stand in the name of Jesus. Amen. That is the lies of the devil. It is the lies of the devil and it will not stand. Concerning your business. Concerning your marriage. Concerning your children, concerning your ministry, there is no revision in the name of Jesus. Amen. What God has done is permanent. Father, we bless you. We give you all the glory. And Jesus Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, quickly, let us look at the book of Mark. In the name of Jesus, remember, we say God will answer us speedily today. Hallelujah. Amen. At the beginning, we say God will give us answers speedily, just like he gave to the servant of Abraham. Somebody will receive his answer while he is praying. While you are yet praying, God will give you an answer in the name of Jesus Christ. And a lot will come in. Hallelujah. Somebody's phone will ring in the name of Jesus. Amen. While we are yet praying, Father, we thank you. Glory be to God. If you believe God, it's possible. If you believe God, it's possible. This young man believed God and it came to pass. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. You are the God of yesterday, today, and forever. We bless you, Lord. Can we look at the book of Mark 7, 27? Hallelujah. Mark 7, 27. Glory be to God. Mark 7, 27. Mark said something. Jesus said something powerful right there. Mark 7, 27. Amen. And I read. And he said, But Jesus said unto the woman, Let the children first be filled, for it is not meet, for it is not meet to take the bread, to take the children's bread and cast and it is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it onto the dogs. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, this is the, you know, the story of this woman. Is it not the, Sh um, the, the, is it the Shunammite woman? No, no, the Zerophonician woman. Hallelujah. The Syrophonician woman. I think it's Syrophonician. Yeah. The Syrophonician woman that came to Jesus and was pleading with Jesus to come and heal her child who was possessed of a demon. And Jesus began to talk to this woman, you know. Jesus was very, um, he was a bit sarcastic, hallelujah, with that woman. He said, it's not me to take the children's bread and give it to a dog, hallelujah. But there's something here that I want to bring out of here. I was made to understand by this scripture that miracle is actually the bread of children. According to Jesus' statement here, according to what Jesus said here, according to his word, it means that miracles are the breads of children, hallelujah. And the bread of children is what you give to a child every time he wake up in the morning. He say, Mommy, can I have my bread? Hallelujah. He comes to you and say, Mommy, can I have my breakfast? And when it is lunch, say, Mommy, can I have my lunch? And when it is dinner, say, Mommy, can I have my dinner? Hallelujah. Miracles are the breads of children. According to the word of God. So it means that every morning you should wake up and ask God for your bread. Amen. And bread is something we cannot do without. Something we, we live by. Hallelujah. Every day you wake up in the morning, ask God for a miraculous bread. And your bread is miracles. Your bread is miracle. As you go out from the house, you should walk into miracle. You should have a miracle. As you step out of your house, you should have a miracle. As you go to your office, you should have a miracle at the place of work. At your business place, you should have a miracle there. As you live there, you're going home, you should have a miracle on the way as you're driving home. When you lay down at night. You should have a miracle at the middle of the night. The life of a child of God is a life of miracle continually to the end of time. Hallelujah. 
So we're going to ask God for that. Say, Father. Father. Miracles are the bread of children. 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 So therefore, I make a demand of mine today. So I made. A I make a demand of, of my own miracles today. I made a demand. I make of my a demand of my own today. bread today. I made a demand. I of come my to own God today. Say, Father, give me my own bread. Father, give me. Give me my own bread as a child of God. Father, give me my own miracle today. Give me miracle today, Father. Ask God to give you miracle where you you are now. Say, Lord, give me my own miracle. Lord, give me my own miracle. My own miracle. Day-to-day miracle. Remember, Jesus said, Father, give us our daily bread. Lord, give us our daily miracles in the name of Jesus. Give me my miracle at the place of work, in my business place. Give me a miracle as I step out of my house. Give me a miracle. Give me a miracle right to now, today. Father, right now, today, give me the miracle of today. Give me the blessings of today. Give me the benefits of today. Your benefits of today are your miracles. Lord, give me a miracle today in the name of Jesus. The Bible said God daily loaded us with benefits. He daily gives us our miracles. Maybe you have not had a miracle. I don't know when last you had a miracle. I don't know when last you had a miracle. You had a financial miracle. I don't know when last you had a miracle. I don't know when last you had a healing miracle. Ask God for a miracle today in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord our Father, we ask you give us a miracle in the name of Jesus. Miracles are the bread of children. And we make a demand today, Father. Miracles are our daily bread. Give us our daily bread today, Father. Give us our daily bread. Give me my miracle. Concerning that situation, Father, I need a miracle in that situation. I need a miracle today. I need a miracle. I need a miracle in that situation, Father. I need God to intervene for me. I need a supernatural intervention today. That is my miracle. That is my bread. I need a supernatural intervention today in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, give me an interv- a miraculous intervention in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, give me my bread today. Step into that situation. Step into that situation. Give my children their miracle. Miracles. Give my children their bread. Give my husband his bread. Give my wife her bread. Give us our bread at the Triumphant Church. Give us our bread here in the name of Jesus. Father, give us the bread of today. God daily gives us bread. God daily loaded us with benefits. Lord, give us our daily benefits in the name of a living Jesus. Go on, ask God for a miracle today, my brothers. Ask God for a miracle today, my sister. Ask God, ask God, Jesus. Oh, 